Kondersteg International Scout Center, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Kondersteg International Scout Center, KISC, is an international scout center in Kondersteg, Switzerland. The center provides lodges, chalets, and campsites covering 17 hectares of land. It is open to scouts year-round, as well as to non-scouts for most of the year. Annually, more than 10,000 young people from over 40 different countries visit the center. The Kondersteg Center is one of three World Scout Centers of the World Organization of the Scout Movement, or WOSM. History In 1921, the Chief Scout of Switzerland, Walter von Bonstetten, visited Kondersteg on holiday and found an old empty chalet. It was built in 1908 to house the construction workers on the Lochberg Tunnel. In 1913, when the tunnel had been vin finished, the chalet was left unused by the railway company. Von Bonstetten felt that this location could be the meeting place that Robert, uh, Robert Baden-Powell had in mind as a permanent international meeting place where scouts from all over the world could come to meet together. Von Bonstetten wrote to him to let him know what he had found. The response was positive, and in February 1923, the Scouts International Home Association was set up. On 12th of April 1923, the chalet and adjacent land was bought for CHF 15,100 francs and the International Scout Center came into existence. In 1930, Baden-Powell visited the site himself. Up to current times, the site has continuously been augmented, with the first national room, the Dutch Room, in 1927, and additional land purchase in 1929. During World War II, the center was used to house French soldiers interned for the war. In the 1950s, more property was purchased, including the woods by the River Kander, and the center began to open also in the winter time. They renamed the center to its current name, Kondersteg International Scout Center, in 1977. In the 1980s, new campsites were created, together with extra toilet facilities, although the center went through a uh, difficult time financially. In 1994, the International Scout Center Foundation, Kondersteg, was established, and work started on the chalet extension project which opened on the 1st of June 1996. On December 2002, the top floor of the new chalet was finished, completing the chalet extension, followed by new bathroom renovations two years later. In 2009, the center opened a new accommodation building named Kander Lodge, purchased from the neighboring uh, building Cineblick, and fully renovated the ground floor of the old chalet. Location the small, traditional Swiss village of Kandersteg, inhabits approximately 1,200 people, is situated at 1,200 meters above sea level, 65 kilometers south of Bern in the canton of Bern. Kandersteg is located at the foot of the Lutchen Pass and the Gemi Pass. The village is touristically known for sightseeing or exploring the Swiss Alps. Kandersteg can be reached by road and rail. It is situated on the main railway line from the north to Italy, and the station is served by fast trains. The center is at the southern end of the village. During the high seasons, a regular bus runs from the local railway station to the center. Facilities Chalet The central part of the center is the chalet, which consists of two parts, the old chalet and the new chalet. This building houses the center reception and offices, as well as facilities for guests. The completion of the extension in 1996 greatly increased it with full central heating, modern sanitary and, con and constant hot water, a souvenir shop, meeting rooms, postal service, public telephones, coffee bar, laundry, first aid room, and internet facilities. There are five fully equipped electric kitchens available for use. The chalet is open all year round and is run along much the same lines as most youth hostels, with an emphasis on community life and living together with other groups, who help to look after and clean the building. The chalet is decorated with scarves and plaques from guests, as well as photos, posters, and badges showing the worldwide family of scouting. The old chalet provides accommodation for 172 people in 23 rooms, each with between 2 to 22 beds. Most rooms have tables and chairs, providing a living area. The rooms are named after national scout organizations or scout regions that have helped with renovating and decor decorating the room. The new chalet provides new staff accommodation, meeting rooms, and upgraded accommodation for 27 people in nine three-bedded bedrooms available outside the summer season. Campsite 
The campsite can accommodate up to 1,400 persons on more than 60 different sites. On average, during the summer, the site has around 750 guests at a single time. While close to other groups, each group can be sure of their own campsite, ensuring both an international atmosphere and privacy. The sites have been running water nearby, and there are lots of toilets and showers with hot water close at hand, which the visiting groups help to look after during their stay. There is a shop open on the campsite during the summer and a campsite office that is open most of the time. The campsite was originally wasteland from the construction of the tunnel, so several sites are rocky. The railway runs close to some of the sites, so it can be noisy at times. Four Lodges The tower was originally the power station when the railway was built and now has two parts, the tower itself and the Lodgeberg House, sleeping building. In total, there is accommodation for 57 people, four rooms with 12 beds in the Lodgeberg House, and a newly renovated room with nine beds in the tower. Facilities include full toilet and shower facilities for boys and girls, a fully equipped electric kitchen, and a big living room with an open fireplace and balcony. On the other side of the River Cander is the new Cander Lodge, facing the chalet. It has 18 simple two-bedroom, uh, two-bed rooms with shared bathrooms. The building has a kitchen, dining room, living room, and meeting room. The building was originally erected in nearby Mitzholt Village, and in the last decades used as an office and exhibition space for the Lodgeberg-based tunnel. In 2008, after the tunnel was opened, the lodge was moved from Mit Mitholt to its current site in Kandersteg. Purchased in 2009, the Sunablik is an old chalet with the same history as the old chalet and the Kander Lodge. Originally, it was an accommodation building for workers on the train tunnel to Nfrutigen. In the first quarter of the 20th century, Sunablik was moved from Frutigen to Kandersteg to be the direct neighbor of the old chalet. The Sunablik has 47 beds, a dining, play, meeting room, a fully equipped kitchen, and a sitting room. It is available for use by a single group at a time or can be rented as individual rooms. The Yashinan Hut is situated in the Yashinan Valley at a height of 1,890 meters and about two to three hours walk away from the center. It is usually open from May to October. During the summer, it is used mainly as a base for climbing and hiking activities, but it may also be used by groups during the year, if weather allows. The hut is actually half of a cow shed, so sometimes it's a bit noisy at night. It can sleep up to 30 people and has a fully equipped kitchen with wood stove, a general living and eating room, and a special toilet. There is no electricity and no shower. Camps and Activities The site has a history of course and camps, starting with the 50th Gilwell Scout Course organized in 1926 and the first World Scout Moot with 2,500 Rover Scouts from 23 countries in 1931. After the war, in 1953, the 5th World Scout Moot was back in Kandersteg with 4,000 rovers from 22 countries, and in 1992 again, in the 9th World Scout Moot saw nearly 2,500 people from over 50 countries. In 1979, the site hosted the Camp Crystal, with 1,700 scouts from 42 countries. The camp is one of those that replaced the cancelled 15th World Scout Jamboree that year. In the 1980s, the Transatlantic Council of the BSA used Kandersteg for annual or even more camps. In 2007, the center played host to Kanderjam, the alpine link to the 21st World Scout Jamboree, which brought over 2,000 people from all over the world in celebration of the 100th anniversary of scouting. The year after that, in 2008, the center ran the first ever World Scout Winter Games, which is planned again for 2010. The 2009 seasonal activity program offered by the Centre is based on three, th three themes of international friendship, alpine high adventure, and the environment, designed to help guests learn, develop, and have lots of fun. In the summer, they offer, within the three themes, a fixed weekly in-camp program including international campfire, pioneering competition, and barbecue, as well as a wide range of daily activities such as trails, nature workshops, hiking, rock climbing, crafts, mountain biking, paragliding, river rafting, and trips to various parts of Switzerland. In the winter, the program offers a range of alpine snow activities such as downhill or cross-country skiing and snowboarding. There are also a variety of other activities in and around Kandersteg, like sledging, curling, ice skating, 
snowshoeing, and caving. Throughout the year, they offer program activities for groups. The exact possibilities will depend on when you visit and options vary with each season. By participating in the program, guests can work towards the award that exists for each of the themes. These are designed to bring together guests of all ages, nationalities, and culture, whilst encouraging them to experience, learn about, and appreciate the Alpine environment. Staff In 1973, Kurt Metz was appointed as first full-time director, thanks to the support of Kenneth McIntosh. He was followed by the Austrian Michael Merwald, later in 1992 by Aidan Jones, John Moffat in 1996, Miriam Hertzberg in 2002, and in 2005 by Mark Nippenberg, who continues in 2010. The director is assisted by an international team of volunteer staff staying from three months to several years. Volunteer staff are recruited in various numbers according to the time of year to assist with the running of the center's facilities and the program offered. These staff members are known as pinkies due to their uniform of shocking pink t-shirts and sweatshirts. They also wear a neckerchief to represent their scouting background. There are three conditions that must be met in order to be accepted on the staff. You have to be over 18 years of age on the day you start work, to be able to communicate in English, and to be a member of WASM or WAGS. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.